Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode I'm going to show you a model that I made that you can print yourself which will help you determine the correct temperature to print your material. Uh, whether that be PLA or ABS, this should work for both, just adjust the temperatures. Okay, so I'll show you the model I made. In Tinkercad, I've made this, I'll just group all this so you can see it. So this is uh, four towers and each one of these cuts or these markers is a 10 millimeter, um, a 10 millimeter marker. So basically what we're going to do in Simplify 3D, we're going to set up say 9 or 10 processes and on each of these marks we'll get the temperature to drop by 5 degrees. So I've put in the four with the different shapes so we can work out what's printing correctly and if there's going to be any stringing because if you print your PLA too hot it's going to deform and it's just going to string everywhere so the point of this print is to determine the optimal print temperature um, different plastics range from uh, say 180 degrees all the way up to I don't know, 240 for PLA so you really don't know what your range is until you try this print um, this is going to be about 20 grams of PLA so it's easier to just do this little quick print when you get a new roll just to check it out um, and that 20 grams is going to save you from possibly ruining an entire print by having the wrong temperature alright so you can see here this model is 86 um, mil high I probably should have made it an even number but you get the idea um, now I'll bring that into Simplify 3D uh, where are we here so here's our little tower and again you can see the notches so if we control K or option K we can scroll down to the first notch and you'll see there that it's uh, 10, 10 mil and then the next one should be 20 and then 30 etc so we'll close that off. Now in the processes, I've set up uh, nine processes here and the temperature is going to drop uh, sequentially all the way up to the top. So we're going to start at the highest and then stop at the coolest. If we do it the other way around, if you try and print too cool, your nozzle will jam up and then it will just wreck the print. So if we print hottest first, you're going to have a mess of stringy at the bottom and it will get, should get better and better and better until your optimal temperature is reached. So process one, we'll just open that up. Um, I'll put the settings that I recommend to print this at at the end, but I'm using 20% infill, uh, 300 micron layers, so pretty chunky. Uh, speed 55, most printers should handle that fine. And then you'll see here that I've got it stop at 10 mil. So. I, th I showed you this in my other video. Uh, we're going to pick up each process to start and stop with the other finished. So in here, the temperature I've got uh, 220 for layer one, so we get a decent first layer, and then the maximum that I've put in for our test is 235. So after it's done a couple of layers down, it's going to start the test. It's going to be 235 degrees, and then process two. is going to drop by 5 degrees so you'll see here that it's 230 and if we go over to the advanced tab you'll see that it starts printing where the other one stopped so the other one stopped at 10 mil this one starts at 10 mil and then stops at 20 uh, all the rest of the settings should be the same and then each one of these processes again will go down so 225 we're going to drop to 225 so if we're on process 3, we'll be at the third notch, so at this level here, we'll be at 225 degrees. And start printing where the other left off at 20, continue up and then stop at 30. Alright, so when we go to print this, we want to make sure all of our processes are selected, select all, and then OK. 
So you can see that it's a it's a um, it's a small small quick print. So it's 21 grams of filament, which is next to nothing off a one kilo roll. It's an uh, hour and 40 minutes, and it's saying that it's only going to cost about a dollar in materials, which is yeah, it sounds about right. Okay, so when we start down here, it's going to print this couple of layers at 230, uh, 220, and then I set it on layer three to change, bump it up to 235. So this will all be 235, and then it's going to get to the first notch, which is about here, and then drop to 230. Then get to here, 225, 220, 215, 210, 205, 200, and then it should stop at about 195. Uh, let me check that. So this one is starting at 80, which is the last notch, and it's going to drop down to 190 degrees. So by printing this, you should be able to work up the print and find out what your optimal print temperature is for the given material and save yourself a heap of wasted plastic and prints. Not to mention time. Okay, so what I've done here, so you don't have to do all this yourself, if you've got a copy of Simplify 3D, I've actually made this little zip file. I'll put the link to that in the description. So you download this file, and we'll extract it to its own directory, which had to go on the other screen, didn't it? So you're going to get this directory here. Uh, sorry this folder we open the folder and in there you're going to have two files you're going to have the STL file for the tower that I made and then you've also got the factory file in Simplify 3D so if I double click the factory file it's going to bring up all of these processes already, already set for you so you don't need to stuff around with that you can just use my model and use all my processes preset. This should work on any printer. It's not. It shouldn't be um, capturing any of my print dimensions or anything. It's just going to be capturing the processes. But uh, if you do need to modify this for your printer, just go into your process, and then you should be able to change under G code. Change your bed dimensions here. So 300 by 200 by 200 is mine. If you've got a rep wrap or another. Um, different size just adjust your bed parameters in here and then this this file these settings and this model should all work on any printer I'm gonna have a time-lapse of this coming up so you'll be able to watch that and then at the end I'll do a, um, a spin of the actual print to show you how mine turned out I hope you found this um, this information useful I hope it saves you some PLA and saves you some time and frustration so if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please share it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I've noticed that 65% of my audience isn't subscribed. What? And I think you're missing out on some really cool content. And it helps me a bunch if you just hit that subscribe button. I've got the Patreon there if you wish, which I'm not going to... Um, I'm going to do this for as long as I can without charging, but if you wish to support the channel, it's there. And the Amazon Associates. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.